So today I'm going to talk about tips that uh, help me in the uh, to study for the CRNE. So I'm going to share those tips with you because if you're watching this, you're probably a month away from the October CRNE, the very last CRNE. So let's get started. Uh, we are going to use the nursing process. So first is assessment. Assess yourself. Make a pie chart and basically see how you spend your day how many hours do you sleep? How many hours do you work? Make this a work day, actually, if you do work um, as I did. Make it a work day. See how many hours you're at work, how many hours you take to sleep, how many hours you, you spend at home doing your chores and whatnot. And based on that pie chart, you will see how much time you need to allot to studying in, your, in a typical work day. Find your study style. If you're a visual learner, or if you feel better studying in, as a group, or are you better as uh, with external pressure, as I was. By external pressure, I mean like attending a review class of some sort where there's an actual deadline, where there's an actual exam that you have to study for. Find your study time. What kind of a learner are you with regards to time? Are you a night owl or are you a morning person? So depending on that, try to make that your study time as well. If you are better at night, study at night and do most of your chores in the morning. If you're better in the morning, leave everything for later. Study first while your mind is fresh in the morning and then do the rest later. You can even study before work. Planning. Make a pie, another pie chart on how you want it to be. Should you cut down on some sleep? If you used to sleep for eight hours, maybe make it down to six. Uh, sacrifice some of your daily stuff like going to the gym or visiting family. Maybe cut down on those times or cut down on the time you take every day to cook. Instead, make one big meal every three days that'll last you or so forth. Set goals and time limits. Like say, give med surge two weeks to study and then when two weeks is up, go to the next subject and try to stick to your goals. Set aside a quiet study room. So in your house, make a corner where you would study. I would advise against studying on your bed or any reclining <laughs> position because that will not work, trust me. You have to be upright. Start studying, starting with the, your weakest subject. Um, my weakest subject was Pedia, so I started with there. Why? Um, studying takes time, and so I would advise if you don't start where, where you're weakest at, you probably will never get the time to. So um, I started with my weak subject and then move on to other stuff. Study with 30 minutes break every two hours. Studies have shown that your brain is active for only two hours and then it needs a break and then it functions again for another two hours and then needs a break. So be sure to take at least 30 minute breaks in between. Nourish your brain. Make sure what you eat is helpful for your brain. Essential oils, um, slow carbs and glucose basically is your food for your brain. So if you are on some kind of a diet, for now, um, take moderate amounts of uh, brain juice, as they call it. So I would sometimes suck on some candy or um, even a honey um, lozenge. Take note that studying takes time, so take time to study. Don't expect it to be something you can do over the weekend and then be all right the rest of the week. No, you have to allot time every day. Always ask yourself why. When As you go through, um, your subjects think critically the, asking why questions will help you with the critical thinking questions which is a majority of the exam so every time you go through something ask yourself why why does this happen why does this result to that why is, does this cause this cause and effect and all of that that uh, what's the rationale everything you have to go through all of those and that'll really really help you to get a deeper understanding as to how a disease process works or why things are done the way they are evaluation make practice questions at least once a week and i mean at least once a week up leaving out practice questions for the very end like days before the exam not wise you have to start as early as possible um, it's actually recommended that you do daily questions um, make it 10 20 questions a day or even 100 questions a day. what i've been doing i've been doing practice questions weekly and i would like dedicate maybe half a day to do just practice questions a week um, group discussion when you study alone you're only looking at what you think is important to know 
But when you do a group discussion, you kind of get a different point of view of different things that you may have not known or may not have come to your attention. And so group discussions are very helpful. I used to do them at least once a week. Maybe call up a friend or meet up with your study group mates and try to exchange information to each other. That's the fastest and best way to kind of get the most out of a subject. Go back to your content that you've covered. If you've read the content, and say you're done studying and you moved on to the next content, don't forget what you studied last time. Because believe me, your brain can only take up 20% of what you studied, they say. So as horrible as it sounds, you have to go back and read, uh, reread content over again. When I took my exam, I have read the Mosby's comprehensive review at least three times over. And this, the second time I read it, I felt like I totally forgot it and I couldn't believe that I went through that content because the first time I read it, I. I somehow didn't remember, but by the third time I read it, it's all coming back to me and it's all pretty clear in my head and I know that I've imprinted it in my mind. Think like an examiner. This is important when you're answering questions. Don't think like you are the examinee. Think like an examiner. Think like the person who actually made that question. See what they're trying to get at. See what is their best distractor. See what answer in their mind might be the best thing. That's the best way for me that helped me go through the questions because when you think like an examiner, you kind of see where they might want to trick you. You might be able to spot the distractors quite easily. A good practice would be make your own practice questions. And based on that, um, you would get to know the style of how multiple answer questions are made. My biggest tip also is do not study for the exam. Now, what I mean by do not study for the exam, I mean do not study just for the sake of the exam. Study for yourself. Realize that you are doing this because this is the bare minimum that a nurse, a registered nurse should know before they can be licensed to practice and have lives in their hands. So study this for you. Study this for your profession because you will need this. Believe me, you will. Know that the exam is not designed for nursing students. What I mean by this is this, the exam is designed for you as a nurse to test if you are ready to be a nurse, not if you are a qualified nursing student, no. So there will be questions that will come out that is very different from what you've uh, gathered in nursing school. It will be more um, of like an experienced nurse typical questions. So a good way to go about it is to get some information from actual working nurses already that you may know. That is all I have for you. I hope uh, this video has been helpful. You can always go back to my older videos as I have recorded my journey throughout before I took my CRN in February, which I successfully passed, thank goodness. And uh, I just want to inspire you guys and I hope I'm helping you guys out in uh, the most that I can. Remember to give it your all. If you work so hard at, for this exam and you actually know that you gave it your all, you gave it your best, the likeliness of you not making it is very, very, very slim. You, you have gone against the odds once you do give your best. So please give your heart out and your time out and make a temporary sacrifice for this exam and you will definitely make it. I wish you all the luck and uh, let me know how that goes. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more helpful tips, please let me know and share it with our fellow CRNE takers. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.